Hey guys, this is Better Productions, and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Coliseum. In the last episode, we caught the Shadow Bailey, then we defeated Verde. And ah, uh, crazy emails! Alright, let's go and look. It's bit from the under. There's a creepy smear goal. Um. In Ursaring, it's I think it's worth checking out. Huh. Okay. So, yes, there might. Oh, hey there. I did not try to do that. Go back. Go back. Okay. Thank you. And another email! <laughs> oh, jeez. Too many emails. Shadow Pokemon list. Nothing new in there. So, whatever. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Shuckle. That's new. Okay, that's new. You know, let's just keep doing that. We'll see what happens. Let's. Let's just keep going out, and then press B, we might get more emails. Oh no, th those were the only two. Dang it, okay. So, I'm not going to be planning to catch any Shadow Pokemon today. The one thing I want to do is actually face... Oh, come on! I have to cut you out now. Okay, now that battle's done, now we have to heal up our Pokemon, but I'm going to be using a different technique into healing our Pokemon here. So what I'm going to plan to do here is that I am going to press the X button which changes our little hand to gold here and we'll switch and do that and boom all of our Pokemon are healed because we only used two Pokemon that fight but I want them at full HP and look all the Pokemon are purified yeah look at that I used the purification glitch that is showed in the main game in order to get all these done because there was no way I was going to do that. But yeah, now we have three Shadow Pokemon, Tyranitar, Quilava, and Bayleaf. Which, by the way, Tyranitar is, uh, I just have to go and undo it. I have to go purify it. But I decided I would make that my last Pokemon to purify since it is the ultimate Shadow Pokemon. But yes, now we have these. You know what? Is there any way I can take these items off? Is there like an, um, item store? Okay, no. You know what? I'll do it off screen. I'll give and mm, nah, let's just, yeah, it doesn't matter. It's not that big of a deal. But... Before we move on, I would like to, uh, let's see, I should move around my party. I think I'll do that. There we go. Perfect. Because we're going to be taking out a boss today. This is an optional boss battle, but I said, well, I'm going to do it regardless. So, I believe we have to go over here, and then go over here. He wasn't here the first time that, that we were here. You know, like in battle him once, win or lose, we you know, like battle him one more time, which is very unfortunate, but whatever. Let's move on. And okay, welcome, and here is Gonzap! Yeah. So if you win or lose, he will not be back. So, yeah. He does have that Shadow Skarmory, but if you do lose or you accidentally kill it, you don't have to worry about it because I I don't know who exactly takes it, but somebody in the hideout takes the Skarmory. So then you can actually still find the Skarmory somewhere. But we already caught Skarmory, so we don't have to worry about that. So win or lose, it really doesn't matter. But let's take on Gonzap. Gwahaha! <laughs> Pretty brazen for a trainer to come stumbling back, eh, Michael? I got careless back at Real Game Tower, but this is Snagum Hideout. We might be shattered, but this is my home turf. This is where I make my stand. I cannot lose! Okay, so here we go. Gonzap. His Pokemon are beasts. Let's see what he's going to send out first. Machamp and Armaldo. So Machamp, level 64, fighting type with the ability Guts. Blue sets, Hyper Beam, Submission, Foresight, and Bulk Up. Armaldo, level 64, rock and bug type with the ability Battle Armor. Two sets, Hyper Beam, Sword Stance, Ancient Power, and Brick Break. So basically this guy's strategy is just spam Hyper Beam. Because every single Pokemon on his team has Hyper Beam. And that is a very scary tactic, I would have to say. So hopefully we don't have to deal with that with the Machamp at least. Because, can we take it down? Okay, we do. Woo! That's good. But one thing about Hyper Beam is that if it uses it, it has one turn to recharge. So it's... Really not that great of a move, it's just if you want to take something out really easily, you can go for a Hyper Beam. So, Intimidate. Well, we're not gonna... Oh, actually, we'll need Intimidate. Dang it. Okay, so Gramble. Um, level 64, we just saw it has Intimidate. It's a normal type of move that's Hyper Beam. Yeah, with Stab, that's scary. Bulk Up, Shadow Ball, Brick Break. So. Oh, it's gosh, it's going for Hyper Beam. Let's see what it's gonna hit. Uh, 3D Espeon's dead. Yeah. <laughs> There's, there was no shot there of living. 3D Espeon has no, no, just absolutely zero, um, what you would call it, uh, defense stat. So, I think that's the only Pokemon we needed it for. Really? Yeah, it looks like it. So, what am I going to send out? I'll send out Hercules. 
Let's go, Hercules! Okay. So, I'm gonna go for Brick Break on the Gramble, and I'll go for Surf on the Armaldo. And we'll be good there. And we'll see what he's gonna send out next. So, Gramble's down. That's great. Let's see what his next Pokemon is. So far, we're in good shape, I would have to say. And plus, that Armaldo has to recharge, so ha. Huh. Okay, so now Crawdon, level 64, Water Dark type with the ability Hyper Cutter, Move Sets, Hyper Beam, Sword Stance, Aerial Ace, Brick Break. If this thing gets a couple Sword Stances up, it's gonna sweep you. If, you know. Okay, at one point it could use Hyper Beam, but with any other move, it will sweep you, which the Aerial Ace and Brick Break, holy cow, that is a scary tactic. But we don't have to worry, because Hercules will take it down with a Brick Break, and we'll just go for a Brick Break on the Armada. Mm, let's just go for Surf. It'll damage the next person, that, next Pokemon that comes in anyways. So, Crawdon's gonna go down. Good. We don't have to worry about that. I'm telling you, Heracross is definitely a great member for my team. Just tearing up Gonzap's team. I thought I was gonna have a little bit of trouble with this guy. So, okay, Breloom. Level 64 Grass Fighting type of the Ability Effect Spore. It's movesets, Hyper Beam, Iron Tail, Sky Uppercut, and Bulk Up. Oof. Very scary tactic. But okay, there goes Armaldo. And I believe he has one more Pokemon. And I think we'll be all set. I mean, seriously, there's. What else is he gonna do? So Gyarados, Water Flying type of the ability, Intimidates, Move Sets, Hyper Beam, Dragon Dance, Earthquake, and Roar. So this is the Pokemon that can use Dragon Dance real efficiently. And yeah, I'm a little scared of this thing. Because if it puts up a few Dragon Dances, it can be a little bit of a problem. Because it can outspeed it. Oh gosh! X attack. Mmm. Oh, he's gonna spend on both of his Pokemon, he's gonna use X attack. Why? That makes no sense! Because now I have a free attack on all of his Pokemon. Oh, that's why. Frickin' it. Effect Spore. Holy, that did nothing! What the heck? Okay. What am I gonna do? I'll go for a full heal. On Hercules and I will send in static wool it's probably gonna go for a dragon dance next that oh it's gonna go for full restore on Breloom excellent so let's see what he's gonna do with that Gyarados so now this is gonna be the probably the hardest part of the battle is that Gyarados so one thing is if you didn't catch that Skarmory it's oh no oh used on Hercules okay no doom and gloom we're fine I thought I was going to use it on Static Wool, that would have sucked, but, oh boy, now we're fine. We're going to win now, but, um, yeah, easily, if he had that Skarmory on his team still, that Gyarados would not be there, and that would make it, this, this battle would be a lot easier. So, Flamethrower on the Breloom, and Thunderbolt on the Gyarados, and I think that will be it for Gonzap. Hopefully. Okay, there goes Breloom. There we go. And Gyarados has to recharge, so ha! Static Wool, finish it off! Oh, that feels so good. We just defeated Gonzap. That actually went a lot better than I thought it would. Wow. Okay. So that's it for Gonzap. Gah! You've grown more powerful. How much money do we get? 6,000 bucks. I'll take 6,000 bucks any day. The way things are, I won't be I won't give you the satisfaction of asking why you blew up the hideout and abandoned Team Snagum, but remember this. So as long as I breathe, Team Snagum will rise from the shadows again. And with it will come your downfall. Live in fear. Gah! Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. And he's just gonna walk away. Okay, so that is it for Gonzap in this game. Once again, if you do lose against this guy, he's not gonna be back here, so do not come back. It's a waste of time, unless you want to catch another Shadow Pokemon, which there is one guaranteed here. I'm not sure where one of them is, but I'll figure it out. But yeah, one of them is here. I'm not sure if I necessarily want to do it this episode. It really, because there's a lot of trainers to go through. And yeah, you know what? Why not? It's not too big of a deal, I guess. Because I'll just cut them out like I normally would. But there is one trainer that's gonna pop down right here. I knew it. It already battled you before. Ah, uh, here he is again, folks. Even though you didn't see me battle him the first time, he is back. Ugh. 
No, I'll show this. Uh, no, I won't show this. I'll just cut this off right now. Whoa, 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 whoa. My Pokemon are all healed? Why the heck am I back down here? Oh. I just realized that. That just ruined it for me right there. Now I have to fight this guy. Anyways, I'm going to cut away. So, yeah, see you guys later. What the? What just happened? What just? Okay, that is weird. Why is the screen black? Alright guys, I guess I'm back, but I did a glitch that I didn't even know could happen. Alright, well, I did heal up all my Pokemon, and yeah, I moved around some items. I put the charcoal on Entei that I got from Quilava, and then this happens. I don't know what will happen once I get out of the menu. Hopefully it does not crash my game, because I'd be very upset. Oh. Whew. Okay, well, I hope that doesn't ever happen again, because I feel like with my luck, something would happen, and I will lose my save file, or again, sorry, your save file is corrupted and you will have to start all over and I'd get real mad. But, that didn't happen, so we're fine, and, oh look, a new trainer. Oh my, my, tell me it's not you again. Well, I'm cutting you out, ha! Ugh, okay, now that's done, but one of my Pokemon died, so now it is time to find an item that I can use to heal. I have 10 revives, so let's use it on 3D Espeon. Jada missed two Fire Blasts in a row because of that 3D Espeon died, so. Good job. Okay. Not gonna battle you. Let's see. Is there somebody over here? Doesn't look like it. Oh. Okay. Well, you made me cry last time, but now it's your turn to cry. Oh, I remember you. You're like, hey, is it okay if I can cry? Yes or no? And I said, no. And you're like, but I want to cry. Well, okay, let's see what you have. You know what? I'm a, I'll show your battle, because, you know, you feel you're special to me right now. So, Jigglypuff and Shroomish. Really, you're not that special. I'm gonna cry again! Wah! Oh, gosh. I just made her cry again, so that's good. Am I, I feel good, and she disappeared. Oh, but... Okay. Um... I feel like I should do this. Yeah, that that worked. You know what? No, no. It has to be Hercules and Static Wolf, because I think the Pokemon we're going after over here, not you, but down here, is a Shadow Pokemon that we want to catch. So, yeah, there's another one right here. And if you walk over here, yo, isn't it Michael? You got some guts for showing up here after betraying Team Snagum. This is where it ends. I know you're here to wreck the snag machine like before. Oh, so it's true. They do have that machine going. But here comes Team Snagum Biden. And he has Smeargles. That's why I got, you know, those. I put Hercules up top. But okay. Anyways, let's just try to catch this thing. And um, yeah, this guy has nothing but Smeargles. So let me guess. What is his shadow Pokemon? Hmm, I wonder. It can't be a Smeargle, right? Well, it is. So yeah, that's the Smeargle we're looking for. That was in our email that Nat gave us. He's like, oh look, here's the Shadow Pokemon list that I found. And he's like, oh look, Smeargle. And I think this might be the one. Nope, okay, whatever. And okay, there goes that Smeargle. I mean, Smeargle's pretty frail. The only thing that's special about these things is that they can use Sketch and they can learn any move. So, I mean, they're very good competitive bots. It's level 45? Oh, gosh. That's not good. Because I have nothing to weaken it. Um, okay, so I'll go for the Brick Break on that Smeargle. Paralyze the Smeargle. And I'll try to catch it from there. I'm not sure what its catch rate is, though. But whatever, it's fine. I wish I did a little research before, but it's fine. Thunderwave, take it down, please. No, it's not gonna take it down. Paralyze it, I mean. Okay, good, Paralysis Hex, I will take that. And while I switch out Hercule with the... Okay, there we go. Um, I'll go to Cloud9, I mean, that's the only Pokemon I have that can actually weaken other Shadow Pokemon, but I'm kinda scared to weaken it a little bit. Hopefully we can catch it full HP paralyzed. If not, this will be a pain. 
Okay, Shadow. Pokemon get caught in this Ultra Ball! Good save there. <laughs> One. Oh no, I'm gonna have to weaken this. Mm. Well, I did switch out, so. Okay, let's go, Cloud Nine. So, yeah, I'm like 11 levels higher. Hopefully, I don't kill it. Um, yeah, Dragon Breath. I hope I don't kill it. That would stink. Come on. Give it to me! Right now, so I don't have to worry about it. I don't want this to be my first Shadow Pokemon that I failed to catch. I don't even know if I can get this one again. Actually, I might be able to. Two. Dang it. Okay. Ah! Almost had it. Okay, that would stink if Pod 9 got a critical hit or something right here. You know how mad I would be? Oh! Oh my goodness! That brought it down to the red! Okay, now we have to catch this thing before it goes for a Shadow Rush. Otherwise, I am done for. Come on! This is the perfect range, and if it uses Shadow Rush and kill itself, I will be so upset. Come on, catch this thing! One, two, three! Oh, man, that, oh, that was scary. But we defeat Biden. I couldn't win. Kaboom! Why do you say kaboom? Okay, whatever. I was gonna knock you out. That paint your, and then paint your loser face with my smeargle, but I ended up receiving the end of the paint. Ha, ah, sucker! Wait, let me see. Do you have anything to say? Um, anything else? Nope. He says the same thing. Okay, well, what the? So it's Michael. I guess you were drawn here by the rumors of the snag machine. Do you really think that we could fix the snag machine? Are you that gullible? It was all an elaborate trap by Master Gonzap to suck you into coming. Well. Okay, Agrav and those. Okay, his face. He has like a character face. I mean, look at it. <laughs> it's like I'm mocking this guy's face. That's 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 terrible. But it's true though. I mean, like, it's, what the? Ugh. <laughs> oh man, I think this guy has that Ursaring. I'm not too sure. Cause I'm not clear on this part of the game. Cause I've only completed the after game once ever. So, yeah, I'm not too sure on if he has a Shadow Pokemon or not. If he does, this will be fun. Okay, Shiftry's going down. You know what? He, I, him, he might have the Ursary. I hope he does, because we can catch two Shadow Pokemon this episode. Okay, Smacho. Level 52. No. Ah, the, oh yeah, that's right. Flinch. Okay, well. Mudshot. Let's see what this does here. It's not going to do too much because it's not Stab. Oh, that did a lot more than I thought. That stinks. And our speed fell. That's even worse than accuracy, in my opinion. Brick break the macho. Thunderbolt the... Oh, we are faster. Oh, what? It is a ground type? I thought it was... Mm. I always thought that Marsh Stomp was... Oh, it was a pure water type until he evolves into Swampert. Well, I guess I'm wrong and Static Wool is going to die. So, that is not good because I need him to paralyze Pokemon. Okay, focus energy. Oh boy, let's see. So... Hercules, we'll just finish off. Actually, let's not finish off the Machoke. Let's try to get rid of the Marsh Stomp, and I will heal up our Static Wool here. And hopefully we can take down that Marsh Stomp. I'm not really too scared of that Machoke, but I definitely need Electric or Static Wool for the... Shadow Pokemon if he does have a Shadow Pokemon. I'm not 100% sure, but I hope that I will be okay. So, um, yeah. Low kick, this is gonna hurt because he could get a crit and he did not get a crit, so I'm good. Static! Ooh, man, that feels good. Okay, Brick Break on the Marsh Stomp, Thunderbolt on the Machoke, and that is it for this guy. And let's see if he has a Shadow Pokemon at the end. If he doesn't, then this was a waste of my time, but, oh well. Oh, wow, St Static Wolf's level 58. And yes, he does have the Earth Ring. Okay, so this guy actually is useful, so that's good. And I saved my Static Wolf for a good thing, so I didn't waste it. Thunderbolt. So one thing I'm scared about is that this Earth Ring 
I mean, I know... I don't know any of its moves, but I know it has a really good attack stat. Um, it's possible that it could have the Thrash. Yeah, that would not be good if it had Thrash. I'm going to switch into Cloud9, and then I'm going to paralyze this thing, actually. No, go back. Okay. What I'll do is I will heal Static Wool, and yeah, then I'll... There we go, perfect. And Static Wool paralyze the Earth Ring. Oh, it has Slash, even better. <laughs> but it didn't do too much. I know it's level 45, but still, it's kind of a scary thing to deal with. Okay, so Ursa Ring's now paralyzed. We are in a, we're in pretty good shape. Now let's switch out. Let's go, yeah, to Cloud Nine. And I really have nothing else to do because I don't want to kill it. So I guess I'll throw, let's throw a Great Ball at him. I don't know, he might like it. So let's go. Great ball! That'd be funny if this caught it. One. Okay, no. <laughs> that was not gonna happen. Hercules, that's enough! Come on back! No! Cloud9, come on down! This is the price is right! And this price is gonna hurt a lot. Oh. Well then. Um... Yeah, that wasn't cool. Um, let's go to Riptide, I guess. That's probably the second best Pokemon I'd want out there. Because it can take a few slashes, you know? Dragon Breath. Hmm. Let's just... Yeah, let's throw a Great Ball. Yeah, I know, it's at full HP, but might as well use the Great Balls anyways. You never know, I might actually catch it, so... Here we go! That would be interesting if I caught it right here. One. No. Okay, you know what, I'm curious. I'm gonna look up the um, Ursa Ring's um, catch rate. Not when I can here. I'm gonna use awesome Bulbapedia. Um, it's catch rate is 60. Okay. So I don't think I need to weaken it anymore. So with Cloud9, I'll just go right for the Ultra Ball. I'm not going to weaken it anymore because I'm scared of taking it out. Because it's possible you get a crit, and it's possible you can go for Shadow Rush, and that would not be good. So let's see. Come on, please. Stay alive. One. Two. Ugh. Okay. Let's see now. Uh. Okay. Well, I think that'll be good. I mean... What am I gonna do? I'd be sad if he just completely just swept my team. That would be terrible. Okay, so... Ultra Ball. Let's see. That will work. Call. Perfect. Snag Ball. Boom. And, yeah, we'll see. Come on, please catch it. I mean, seriously. He has a 60 catch rate. Ugh. One. Two. Three. Caught it. Okay, good. I like that. So that is it for Agrev Master Guns up, sucker. <laughs> we got 550 bucks. You know how to work that snag machine, all right. I don't like admitting it, but you've beaten me thoroughly. Yeah, that's what I do, you know. But yeah, that is it. So I think that'll be the end of this episode. I mean, I caught the Shadow Pokemon in that area, so that's very good. Let's just go to Mount Bat. Oh, yeah. Whoa, voice crack. Wow. Okay, let's go to Mount Battle because, yeah, we're gonna, you know, I don't know, heal. That might be good, I guess. And I have no idea what I'm doing next. So, yeah, let's just heal up and, yeah, we'll end up the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode and see you guys next time for some more Pokemon Coliseum.